Good day everyone, my name is Javelin S. Basilisco from Cebu Technological University Mualbal Campus taking up Bachelor of Elementary Education major in General Content. Today I will be showing you my teaching demonstration in Physical Education 2 and the topic is Chasing and Playing Games. And here is my lesson plan. Please all stand for our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and then bring us and let us deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class! Okay. How are you today, class? That's good. Give me now, sit down. And I will check your attendance. Abalie. Bahau. Present. Banting. Baho. Bourbon. Galliardo. Insipido, Lastimoso, Magallanes, and last, Relation Alona J. Very good. There is no absent from you, class. So now, to begin with, I have a video here, and you will watch it. Pagpwesto ang patotot. Ang around the world naman, kaya around the world ang tawag sa kanya kasi libre siyang gumalaw sa lahat ng linya. Kailangan makalusot isa-isa ang mga tatakbo na hindi nahahawakan ng mga tagaharang. Pag nakalusot ka na hindi ka natataya, one point yun sa'yo at sa team mo. Pag nahawakan ka naman, eliminated ka. Pag lahat ng tatakbo ay nakatapos na ng tig-iisang turn, sila naman ang haharang sa kabilang team. Ang unang team na makakuha ng 5 points ang panalo. Okay class, what is the name of the game that you have been watched? Yes, it is called Paten Tero. What are the skills and abilities that are used in playing the game Patentero? Yes, the skills that involve in playing are walking, running, dodging, and skipping. Very good. So, how to play the game Patentero? Yes, lastimoso. How? Based from the video that you have watched, very good. One must be agile in fleeing from the enemy because if they will have the chance to touch just a single part of you, you will be removed from the game. You must be also aware of what's happening around and never let your opponents imprison you. Why? Defeat will be inevitable. Okay? Okay, class. For our topic for today, it, it, our topic for today is chasing and playing games. So what is chasing and playing games? Who wants to volunteer to read? Yes, reasonably, please read. Okay, chasing and playing games is a traditionally known as the tag games. It involves players 
moving within a playing area while attempting to reach others or being rich themselves. Technical problems include evading opponents, reaching opponents, and sending or reacting to misleading signals. So, um, in chasing and playing games, there are some skills or movements that is involved like running, walking, dodging, and jumping. So how to execute this so that you will never be tagged by your opponents? Like um, running. You run fast. Yes. And walk. Just like this. But you need to Yes, you need to be sure that your opponents cannot be tagged by you. Next is jumping like this. Oh yes, this. And dodging. You will dodge from your opponents so that they cannot touch you. Okay? Okay, now class, we will have an activity. Count one to four. So that we can create four groups. Yes, we will. Um, we will play the chasing and playing games like what I have discussed here a while ago. <clears throat> what you are going to do is in each group or. Shall we say in group 1, there is a tree, group 2 will be a trunk, for group 3, wrap, and for group 4 is any kind you want, like um, stove, uh, I mean uh, pencil, that object will be your base okay okay your goal in this game is one team try to catch the opposing team's base by reaching the opposing team's home base first and tagging the predetermined item signifying the opposing team without being tagged the opposing team's defense members okay have you ever played this kind of game in your home or every time you have a second hours? Okay, for sure, this game will never be difficult from you. Okay, so for now, let's go outside so that we can perform the game. Okay, let's go.
One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, give me now six down. So fast, have you learned how to apply the different locomotor skills on chasing and playing efficiently? Okay, very good. You learned. What are those locomotor skills that you have learned during the game? Very good. Running, walking, skipping, dodging. Oh, very good. So, did you observe the relevance of those locomotor skills in chasing and playing? Okay, yes. So, what part of your body are used in doing each movement? Oh, very good. Legs and our feet. So, did you transfer yourself from one place to another? Upon doing the movement? Of course, yes. Right? Okay, so now enumerate the different locomotor movements involved in chasing and playing games. Who wants to share or who wants to answer? Okay, Magalianes. Jumping, very good. Lastimoso. Dodging, very good. Abalie. Walking, and so many more. So for now, class, how do we execute chasing and playing game? How? Yes? Personal with Jojo? Okay, very good. By learning and familiarizing the different locomotor skills. Like, as what you have said a while ago, jumping, walking, running, and so many more. And now, we will have a quiz. Are you ready? Okay. So I have a test paper here. Just prepare your pencils. Then the instruction is you just encircle for the test one, which is correct. That says the statement is correct. And for the test two is Write L if the picture shows locomotor skills and NL if it's not this one. Okay, I will pass this one here. Okay, I get one and pass. Okay. Okay, are you done answering class? Okay, very good. So, pass your words in front of you without making any noise. Five, four, three, two, one. Pass your paper. Okay, very good. Okay, class, for our last activity that we are going to for, uh, do today is um, with the same group a while ago we will have a gallery walk okay you know what what, what is gallery walk like in um, somebody who go to a museum okay so on a chart paper write or draw what you have learned after the after that you will attach from our walls and we will see to it okay okay i will give you 15 minutes to do that you have your own materials there I told you last meeting that 
You need to bring materials for this activity. Okay, very good. So, you may now start doing your activity. Ten minutes. Yes, after you do your work, just paste in our walls. Okay, it's time for us to face our works. And here are the works of my students. For your assignment, at least two to three paragraphs, write an essay that explains why locomotor skills are important for, for children to learn and master? What role do they play in the development of locomotor skills? Did you get it? Okay, again, I will repeat the instruction. In at least two to three paragraphs, write an essay that explains why locomotor skills are important for children like you to learn and master and what role do they play, play in development of locomotor skills okay before we say goodbye i just want to remind you that don't stop playing because we grow old we grow old because we stop playing. That is by George Bernard Shaw. Okay, class dismissed.